Once you've created a workflow for each of the years, your Canvas will hold five workflows all at the same time. I have mine ordered by the date going from oldest to newest. So I have 11, 12 first, and then going all the way down, I get to 15, 16 last. You don't have to have yours ordered in this way, but it can help anybody who needs to review your work or who wants to replicate your work or even yourself when you go back to take a look at this. And it's fairly easy to move workflows that are in containers because all you have to do is hover over until you get a four-way arrow, click once, and then just drag it wherever it is that you would like it to be. Now that we have all of our workflows, we would like to put them all together so that we can compute five-year averages and also start to visualize the data. So we're just about done with the process of transforming the gross migration file for use in visualization. What we need to do next is we need to get to a space on our canvas where we can connect all of these files. So we'll go ahead and use the bottom scroll bar to get over to a blank space on our canvas. And then I'm going to, based on my preference, go ahead and move to the middle workflow, which happens to be the 1314 workflow. We're going to be on the join tool, join menu, and we're going to use the join multiple tool. Unlike the join tool, which only allows you to combine two sheets at a time, the join multiple tool will allow you to join as many sheets as you'd like all at once. So if you go ahead and grab that tool and drag it onto your canvas, you can go ahead and start joining your data sets. Before you do, a word of caution. You should understand that the join multiple tool will put the data in the order in which you make the connection. So if you would like the oldest year, the 11-12 year, to be first, then the first connection that you make from the output anchor of the select tool in one of your workflows to the input anchor of the join multiple tool has to be the 11-12 select tool to the join multiple tool. We can see that the join multiple tool only has one input anchor, but this input anchor looks different from the input anchors on many of our other tools because it has three arrows attached to it. What that means is that you can make multiple connections with the same anchor. So we will start with the 11-12 workflow. We will click once on the output anchor from the select tool of our 11-12 workflow, and we will drag Hold, click and hold and drag down until we make the connection with the input anchor from the join multiple tool. We can see that this is labeled as the first connection. So that, what that means is that the data from the 1112 outflow workflow is going to appear first in the join multiple. We can do the same thing for 12 and 13 where we click on the output anchor and then drag our mouse down to connect it to the input anchor and then repeat the process for all of the remaining years. Once we have made our configuration, we can go once we've made our connections, we can go ahead and then do our configuration for our join multiple tool. In this case, we need to tell the tool what it is that we would like it to match data sets on. And we have three options. We have a Hawaii ID option, which is repeated for all eight rows. We have the state abbreviation option, or we have the AGI identifier field. And what we're going to want to use is the AGI identifier field, since it is unique for all of the eight rows. So go ahead and select the AGI identifier row. And what we see then is that once we've selected it for the first input, Alteryx automatically checks to see if there's a matching field in the additional inputs, and when it finds it, it goes ahead and puts those in. If it didn't, then you would simply use the drop-down menu on the next input to identify which field you'd like it to connect to manually. Finally, Alteryx also gives us an additional row in case we wanted to match on additional identifier fields within our data set. Now that we have this, we have our three identifier rows, but we also have our data from each of the years. We don't need to repeat our identifier rows, so for each additional input we can go ahead and remove the duplicate identifier rows by unchecking the boxes next to those fields. And then finally at the bottom we can go ahead and uncheck the unknown. Now that we have our join multiple tool configured, we can go ahead and click on run. And we can see that Alteryx is taking a little bit longer simply because this is a rather large data set. 
and if we click on the output anchor from our join multiple, we see that we have 143 fields in this data set. Not entirely surprising given the size that each one of these uh, workflows created. And we should have all of our net returns for each of our years, for each of our age categories and our AGI categories.